One of the most distinctive and adaptable rotary wing aircraft ever made is the Kamov COG-50, often known as the Werewolf or Black Shark. Due to its coaxial rotor arrangement, which removes the need for a tail rotor and increases speed and maneuverability, the Soviet helicopter has gained notoriety. The Black Shark was the first helicopter to have an ejection seat when it was initially released. Due to this feature's popularity, the manufacturer created a two-seat variation known as the COG-52 Alligator. Since then, Kamov has developed a variety of variations with special characteristics suitable to the buyer, such as the Egyptian Null Crocodile with an enhanced cooling system and an anti-corrosion coating, or the Mud Shark, a naval model appropriate for use on Russian carriers, as long as Kamov maintains developing the successful Russian helicopter with the most recent technology. The lethal predators will continue leaving their imprint all over the world. Kamov V-80 Program During the Soviet-Afghan War, the Russian military discovered the hard way that it needed a modern assault helicopter. With the Kamov V-80 design study, construction of a new rotary wing aircraft had already started in the late 1970s. The prototype was a support helicopter with a fixed weapon and air-to-air -air missiles to defend ground troops from hostile enemy aircraft. To compete for a contract to build the most powerful helicopter in the USSR, the Kamov and Mil Moscow Design Bureau submitted two ideas. In 1980, Kamov started building to test helicopters known as the V-80. The Kamov Ka-25 naval helicopter, which was flown by a single pilot and had a high level of automation, was the inspiration for Kamov engineers, who thought their new design could be built on it. But they came to the conclusion that the second crewman wasn't essential after studying how the Milmia 24 operated. As a result, they were able to reduce weight and volume, which increased the capacity for more fuel and firepower, and simplified maintenance. A single pilot could operate the aircraft because to the developer's combination of the automated flying, target acquisition, navigation, and tracking features. The end product was the prototype the 80 Shuan, which had a coaxial contra-rotating rotor arrangement that did not require a tail rotor assembly. By reducing weight, the helicopter was also able to do more aerobatic maneuvers. Moreover, the NPP's Vezda K37800 ejection seat improved the pilot's chance of survival. The rotor blades are set off by explosive charges in the rotor disc, and the canopy is launched before the rocket in the seat deploys. The rescue ejection mechanism was added, making it the first helicopter to have one. The Werewolf. The helicopter is for 0.93 meters tall, weighs 10,800 kilograms, and has a wingspan of more than 15 meters. The Tuklimov TV3117VK turboshaft engines each produced 1,126 horsepower, which is used to power the main rotors to three-bladed counter-rotating rotors. This enables the aircraft to fly at a top speed of up to 310 km per hour, ascend at a rate of 480 meters per second, and have a combat range of more than 520 km. It can make flat spins over the entire flying speed range. Due to the absence of a tail rotor, and its exceptional agility is facilitated by a maximum vertical load factor of 3.5 g. The V-80 prototype was authorized for production in 1982 after undergoing a number of flight tests under the name COD-50. It was initially officially shown in March 1992 at a symposium in the UK, and it was then displayed at the Farnborough Air Show in July and the Mozera Show at Zhukovsky in August. The COD-50 showcased at the festivities has a werewolf symbol on its rudder. With the debut of the fifth aircraft, which was painted in an all-black color scheme, the Ka-50 would later be referred to as either the Werewolf or the Black Shark. Of, of the more than 200 werewolves that were ordered to replace the Milmia 24, only 12 of them were ever delivered to the Russian army in the late 1990s. Yet in the early 2000s, production was restarted, and the Ka-50 has since been supplied in a number of variations. Black Shark Armament 130th mm Shipunov to A-42 gun is the helicopter's basic armament, and it is mounted along the starboard side of the fuselage. It is capable of launching high explosive fragmentation and armor-piercing rounds. Its cannon can fire at a distance of up to 4 kilometers, and has a muzzle velocity of 980 meters per second. The compact mid-mounted wings also have wingtip pods for extra weapons, and for underwing suspension modules. On the exterior storage, up to 12 Vikur supersonic anti-tank missiles may be deployed. Moreover, the Black Shark is capable of transporting for S-18 munitions dispensing rockets. 
for Vimpel R-73 short-range missiles and 12AS-1 to Kegler Air-2 surface missiles. Its defenses include a chaff dispenser, an electronic warfare system, a flare dispenser, and a radar warning receiver. The HUD, an inertial navigation system, a forward-looking infrared radar, and a terrain-following radar are all part of the flight systems. The Night Shark, due to financial constraints, the Mercury Low Light TV system was unable to be installed in the helicopter, rendering the first badge of werewolves incapable of operating at night. Kanoff developed a variation for nighttime fighting and unveiled it in 1997. The COD-50, also known as the Night Shark, was equipped with a thermal imager, a laser rangefinder, FLIR, and electro-optic sights, and other features that made it ideal for use at night. The Night Shark's unique design, which places the cockpit fronting the fuselage and the engine aft, is carried over from its predecessor. The Samshid 50 system, which comes in the shape of a 540mm sphere placed under the nose, is the only thing that differs. COD-50 2 Alligator Kamov developed a different version of the COD-50 when the original one was first released that could coordinate group attack helicopter operations and offer support, target designation, and reconnaissance capabilities. To operate the reconnaissance package with these added capabilities, a second crewman was absolutely necessary. Kamov therefore altered a single-seat werewolf with a side-by-side -side sitting configuration to enable easy communication between the two crew members. The COG-52 Alligator, a two-seat derivative of the Black Shark, was created from this modified helicopter. The Alligator has the same weaponry and is equipped with a radar system, two antennas, day and night thermal sighting, and a less intimidating nose profile. Unfortunately, the increased bulk and weight led to less maneuverability and slower peak speeds. The Black Shark's revolutionary ejection mechanism and HUD components are also featured in its twin-seat cockpit. It measures 16 meters in length, 4.9 meters in height, and 14.5 meters in diameter. It weighs about 11,000 kilograms. Moreover, the Alligator has a 1,100-kilometer ferry range, a 460-kilometer cruising speed, and a 5,500-kilometer altitude. The first Alligator was created in 1996, and by 2010, more than a dozen have been created. In February 2018, the Russian Ministry of Defense stated it will acquire more than 100 COG-52 Alligators as part of an Air Force refurbishment program that would be completed by 2026. It was originally presented to the Russian Armed Services in 2011. They were Dogen. The Turkish Air Force was intrigued by the Russian design and indicated interest in purchasing several after the Ka-52 Alligator was formally introduced to the Soviet Air Force. In order to compete in a Turkish contest, the Kamov Bureau collaborated with Israel Aerospace Industries II between 1997 and 1998. The winning bidder would receive a $4 billion deal to build more than 140 helicopters for the Turkish Armed Forces. The base twin-seat KA-52 Alligator was the platform that Kamov and IA selected, and they gave it the name Erdogan. Modern technology was added to the chopper by an Israeli manufacturer, making it more deadly in battle. II mainly added advanced glass cockpit avionics and swapped the fixed 30mm cannon for a turret-mounting folding cannon. The Israeli business also improved the avionics for improved anti-tank warfare, enhancing the effectiveness of anti-tank missiles. Despite the Ka-52 Erdogan's improved qualities, Turkey ultimately chose another aircraft, and only one Erdogan was finished. Nonetheless, Kamov was able to negotiate a deal with Egypt in 2015 to build 50 Ka-50 to helicopters for that country's military services. Without any problems, the first batch was delivered in 2017. The Ka-50 to Nell Crocodile is the name given to this variation, which differs from the common alligator in various ways. The Nile Crocodile, for instance, has an updated cooling system appropriate for the harsh and hot Egyptian setting, a strengthened fuselage, and is constructed with anti-corrosion materials. A new laser targeting system, improved avionics, revised landing gear, and an Arabalid 50 to pulse radar are all included in the Nile Crocodile, state-of-the-art variant. The Russian Navy had in mind a specialist KA-50 to derivative when it initially deployed its contemporary Mistral-class amphibious craft, because to this, Kamov created the KA-5 to K Katrin, often known as the Mud Shark, a naval derivative suitable for carrier deployment. The Mud Shark has strengthened landing gear, folding rotor blades, and folding wings. 
The mud shark can only carry four of the alligator's regular six weapon pylons because to its shorter wings. Yet, the mud shark has a more sophisticated radar that extends the range of naval operations. Since its introduction, the original COD-50 and its COD-50 to successor have taken part in a number of international conflicts. The Second Chechen War was the COD-50's first combat deployment, and both helicopters saw service in 2015 Syrian Civil War. The Russian Ministry of Defense declared in 2019 that all current KA-52s will be upgraded to the KA-52M version. Following the arrival of the most recent model, and other models have been sighted recently in Ukraine. A new command and control system has been included, along with improved cockpit ergonomics, a more potent ghost for 5-1M electrode optical targeting turret, stronger night vision goggles, and improved landing gear for the most recent ka 50 to model. One thing is clear, even if the Russian ministry did not say how long or how much it will cost the armed services to update every COD-50 to now in service, increasingly potent and distinctive varieties will continue to wreak havoc in the future. Years. Thank you for watching our video. Please like and subscribe to our channel to find more exciting military content. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to be notified of our newest videos. Stay tuned.